Hey there, sign of Aquarius. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for January 6th and 7th, 2021. Um, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. Thank you for uh, supporting this channel. And we're going to get started. So we start by calling in the divine white light to surround us where we do the reading and surround you as you watch this reading. Calling in our angel, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to help us with this reading. Find the best, the well-intended messages, the best, the highest message for the highest good of the sign of Aquarius. <clears throat> and we'll start. This is the archetype deck, Kim Kranz. And we're going to get one of these. See what's going on with you, Aquarius. The Sustainer. So that's a really good card. That is about, that's about like keeping the, um, you know, keeping things, this foundation strong. Keeping the foundation strong. Um, let me look it up in the book so I can tell you the accurate uh, description from the book's point of view, from the writer, what they wanted to pass along. Um, <clears throat> okay, this is the Peacemaker. All right. The peacemaker, the upholder, the perseverer. Um, they work behind the scenes, tending to the task of life. They cultivate gardens, pay bills, keep meals warm, and mouths fed. Um, they have humble yet meaningful tasks, and they have a natural inclination to nourish others, to preserve Earth's resources, to consider the environmental impact, and to see their role in the divine cycle of life. So it's common for this card to indicate that you are being overworked um, and not getting enough attention or credit for what you do. But you know what? Overall, the meanings is abundant, generous, supportive, and reliable. Contemplate on what truly sustains you and make a list. Notice how simple yet powerful those things are and spend some time tending to them. So, we move on. We move on to the spell casting deck. Spell casting oracle for Aquarius, please. For six and seven. Whoa. Okay, we won't take all those, but we'll take these. Wow, it, this has kind of been the theme for you for a little while. I have noticed getting your justice getting your justice, making something fair. Once again, you could be dealing with a Libra, but, um, wow. So I think it's something in family will be made fair. And there's talent, talent coming in. So there's pr more than likely there's spiritual gifts that maybe you haven't, um, been aware of yet. Um, but this talent and this justice with the sustainer, it all ties into the family, <clears throat> So I think there ultimately was something that will be made balanced with the family. If this is talking about a court case uh, with you, it's usually good news when you see the justice card for your case. Let's look at a wisdom from the Oracle. And we'll see what it says for you, what it wants to say to you. See for Aquarius 6 and 7. And we have... Flexible. Flexible. Okay. Um, let me look in the book for that one. I'm pretty sure this is your adaptability, your resilience, um, ability to get through things. <clears throat> All right. Teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what is important. It says common sense is important, but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others are going to be more flexible with you, too, as you are flexible. You'll see that kind of mirrored in your world. All right, we're going to get the Rider Waite Tarot, and we're going to find out just a little small spread of um, four Aquarius. See what they want. the Rider Waite wants to tell you. What is the issue card? Issue card for Aquarius, please. 
family. Again, family comes up again for you, Aquarius. Um, this might be about family ties, uh, strengthening bonds. Um, or it might be about a soulmate, strengthening bonds, maybe meeting a soulmate. Because I see the people on the card and it's like they're meeting each other. And now this may be like a family reunion too. What is the challenge to this family dynamic? We've got challenges, forgiveness, something that was unknown. Something that's maybe unknown, maybe a Pisces. Um, forgiveness, so... This is really um, talking about, it can be talking about second chances. It may be a Sagittarius. It's divine assistance. It's like first aid for whatever your problem is. And this forgiveness is really for you because it's meant to heal you so that you don't carry resentment or anger inside you and end up with being in dis-ease, disease. So... Let's look at the outcome card for Aquarius. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Focusing. Two of wands can be about a new job for some people. Um, but this is about visualizing what it is that you want, Aquarius. This is visualizing what you want. Standing strong. Defending. Oh, look. Nice. We have defending yourself, standing, holding true to what you're wanting to hold this vision for you, maybe for your family. We're going to have to add some forgiveness in there and accept that in the past things are just really unknown and they might still be a little unknown. Um, but know that this is all leading to a really glorious victory. Public recognition, merit for being um, so brave for what you have gone through this challenge. Let's look at the tea leaves, Aquarius, and we will wrap up this reading. <laughs> okay, dog, close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Pleasure with a close friend. Cat, a two-faced friend. Well, that's not good. That's not good. Maybe that's something you'll have to defend or something you have to find your truth in. Um, vultures, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. This may just be worry. It may just be that. It may be worry over a justice situation. Whatever it is, um, if it's, you know, bad enough to where you need to get professional help, then by all means get professional help. But the card kind of indicates that it's worry, um, that it's not really founded. It's founded more on living in the future and not in the present more than anything. Desk is pay attention to your work. There's that focus for the two of wands. Butterfly, a change for the better. A change for the better. And that's going to come in between your family and your uh, six of wands, your victory. And then hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm sending much love and light out to you. Join me for your next reading. Bye, Aquarius.